Hello everyone, how are we all doing? I'm sat on my bed today because I thought, why not? Today I thought I'd share with you some of my favourite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. I am a creature of habit and I do tend to stick to the same things. When I fall in love with something, I will wear it over and over and over again until I'm sick of it. I don't know why I do this, but I do. Um, something I'm trying to do this year is actually try and wear more of my wardrobe because I get so stuck in wearing the same things that then I forget about everything else in my wardrobe. And there is literally a section of my wardrobe that I barely even look at, which is really bad. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys my favourite pieces because I thought about doing a uh, winter essentials, but then I realised that my winter essentials are essentially my favourite items at the moment. So I thought I'd just kind of combine them together and show you guys my favourite items. So I'm going to jump straight in and chat you guys through them. First up is this beanie. Now I love a beanie, I love a hat. I'm such a winter hat person. I actually love a hat in general. Um, but I love a beanie and when I go out I love wearing a beanie because they just keep me so warm. They're cute. I have so many. Um, my favourite one this year is definitely this one. This is from H&M. It's quite a small beanie, like it's a shorter beanie rather than a like longer one so this isn't going to be for everyone i'll pop a picture on the screen and show you what it looks like um i love this beanie i think it's such a nice beanie the colors beaut the cream color i love 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 anything cream you can tell by what i'm wearing and my surroundings um i love anything cream so this hat is so useful and it goes with everything so if i ever need a hat this is the hat that i'm wearing and it was from h&m it was so affordable and i love when you can find like good quality pieces that you can wear over and over again that are affordable that look nice i hate when you like go to try and find a beanie and it's not what you want or it's not the right fabric or it's not the right like look and then you can't find one that fits your budget this one will definitely fit your budget like it's amazing so hat of course vital part of a winter wardrobe i think um the next one is something you will absolutely expect from me you've probably expected this in every single kind of styling video for the last year and it's my good old trusty docs now i can't recommend these shoes enough i've done a video on my youtube before it was actually a while back but i'll link it below about comparing these docs to the main like the classic ones and Honest to God, I love these boots so much. I can't even fathom how much I'm obsessed with these. Like, they go with everything. I wear them a lot. They're a great winter shoe. Um, I am so happy that I bought them. I bought these, I think I've had them for about a year and a half, maybe. Um, and I love them. They're really chunky. They're really, like, cool. They are a little bit of um, effort to wear in. But once you've worn them in, they're amazing. Um, I have a few tips on that, which I might do a video on very soon because they're just incredible shoes. Like, I really recommend everyone goes and gets a pair. And like I said, I've had these for ages and I've worn them a lot and they look pretty decent. Like, they don't look battered or anything like that. And I have worn them many a time. I've even worn them on a night out. So, yeah, they look pretty good. They're a little bit dirty, which I do need to clean. But I can't recommend these shoes enough, as I've said a million times. Um, I just love them. I just think they're great. I think everyone should own a pair. They're worth the sore feet in the end, I promise you. Um, even though a few tips I have will probably help you not have sore feet. But that's coming soon. Um, so yeah, docks, amazing. Chunky boots in general. If these are something that you can't really afford or you're not really thinking, oh, I don't know if I'll wear them, you can get some really good affordable ones on the high street. So I will link some affordable ones down below for anyone who is looking for a pair of chunky boots but doesn't want to pay the Doc Martin price tag because I am aware they're not cheap. Um, something I like to wear with my Doc Martins all the time is my good old trusty weekday row jeans. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know I absolutely love these jeans. I wear these jeans a lot. And these are a pair of jeans that I'm trying not to wear as much in the next coming months because I've worn them so much that I'm like bored of them, kind of, even though I love these jeans. Um, so these are essentially just a black pair of straight leg jeans. Nothing more to say about them, to be honest. But I love them. They're so comfortable. They look cool. They have such a nice shape about them. They fit nicely. I honestly just love them. And I have them in an array of colours because I just think they fit so nice. When you find a pair of jeans that fits, you're obviously just going to buy them in every colour, right? So, yeah, these are like my winter versions because I don't tend to wear a lot of other denims in um, winter. But 
They're amazing jeans. I highly recommend them. I have mine in a waist 24, leg 30, and they fit perfectly. I honestly just, I think when you love something and you find something that fits you so well, it's hard not to wear them. Um, and I have worn them quite a lot, so they're like washing out a little bit more, so they're not as dark as they were when I first got them. Even though these ones are slightly washed anyway when you buy them. But um, yeah, I absolutely love them. I think they're amazing. Just the best jeans I think I've ever put on my body, so... Another shoe that you probably won't be surprised by is the classic mini, ultra mini Uggs. So I actually got these as part of a campaign that I worked on. And I was like, oh, I'll probably just wear them as like slippers around the house. Because this was before they started to get really, really like big. Um, and I was like, oh, I should probably just wear them as slippers. And I'm so happy that I have them because they're so comfortable. Although I'm not yet at the point where I feel like wearing Uggs out is my thing because I find that they just give me slipper vibes and like I'm so used to wearing shoes like this in the house so wearing them out the house seems like slightly wrong but I think it's just because Uggs haven't been a thing for so long I haven't worn Uggs since I was well I've never owned a proper pair of Ugg boots until now until I was at school which was like, so long. like 10 years ago ugh um ugh uh, anyway, so yeah, it's been a long time, but I've really gotten into these and I think they're really cute and they go with certain outfits I'm very like particular with the type of shoes I wear with different outfits and I definitely think these are more of like a cute Casual joggers or leggings kind of vibe for me I think some people look amazing in these with jeans. But they just I just can't figure out the look Do you know what I mean? But I highly recommend getting a pair if you're thinking about it. They're super comfortable. You can wear them around the house. I really love the kind of ultra mini height of them because they really hit the right part of your ankle. So they don't like, they look quite nice with um, like joggers and stuff. They hit at the right point, if you know what I mean. Um, and these are the colour Antelope. Um, I did debate getting another pair. I was thinking oh, I could get the chestnut kind of classic Ugg colour as well. But because we're leading into spring soon, not that soon, but soon in the next couple of months, I didn't want to buy anything else that when I really have a pair, do you know what I mean? If I didn't have a pair, I'd probably buy a pair. But um, I love them. I think they're really cute. I love just the vibe of them and I probably will continue to wear them around the house because my feet get so cold. I don't know about any of you, but my flat gets so, so, so cold and my feet get cold. And even though my room might be warm, my feet still get cold. So I always wear those around the house just to keep my feet nice and toasty warm. Um, another thing that I absolutely love at this time of year is a good old trusty tracksuit. Now you guys know I love a tracksuit. I've loved a tracksuit for a very long time now. Um, and one tracksuit that I absolutely love and I live in is this one from another version. If you follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this. Um, so this is like a hoodie with the another version logo here and then these are the joggers they look like this love them i love a tracksuit so much and when i find a tracksuit that fits really nicely and fits my body nicely i'm like obsessed and one thing i struggle with often is joggers being too baggy on me um just around the legs which can be kind of sometimes a bit unflattering don't really necessarily want to wear them out of the house that kind of thing anyway there's another version um tracksuit is so nice so comfortable i love the way it looks i think it looks quite nice it just has like a nice feel about it the material's nice um i'll link this below because it's amazing and i love this little tracksuit so much um very excited to be wearing it again because it's washed i've just cleaned it washed it cleaned it it's just been it's just come out of the wash i love it i love tracksuit i also have a recent new tracksuit i haven't got the joggers on me i forgot to get them out of my wardrobe but it's this tracksuit from adenola um and it's got this really lovely um little kind of small logo here it says adenola sports club active lifestyle and i love this zip up style i'm really making an active move to not buy anything that i already own and buy like different versions of things so like i have a lot of sweatshirts i'm going to go through them i think again because i have so many um so i thought instead of buying the sweatshirt version i'll buy the zip up one i don't have one of these sweatshirts and i love it i'm so glad i bought it obviously got the joggers to match um because i love them this i got in a size medium and the joggers i got in a size extra small again i'll link both below um highly recommend this tracksuit it's so nice and even this looks nice with leggings and like trainers for like a kind of 
sports chic kind of vibe um i really really like this sweatshirt it's so nice i love adenola stuff as well i think their stuff is amazing such good quality and so comfortable and one of my favorite tracksuits is from adenola so yeah um the next thing is a very wintry piece this is actually a piece that i recently got Christmas I mentioned it in my last video um, it's my acne scarf and the reason why I'm featuring this is because I really 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 love a scarf at this time of year and I've recently just started wearing this because I got it for Christmas so I haven't really worn it that much and I love it so much like I don't think I'll probably wear any other scarf that I own now apart from like depends on the outfit do you know what I mean um, but I love it it's so nice it's so soft it's so comfortable um, the like size of it is perfect so when you wrap it around your neck it just looks like really thick and comfortable um, and it's so warm and I really recommend this scarf as well I'll link a cheaper alternative below as well because these scarves are not cheap but I really really wanted to get a nice quality scarf um, something that was going to last me a long time and I'm really really happy that I did um, because it's just so nice and I absolutely love it um, so yeah, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is a sweatshirt. You can really tell the vibes that I've been going for this winter. Um, actually no, I have another thing I'll show you afterwards. I've just realised it's still on my bed. Um, this sweatshirt from Anine Bing. I have been living in this. This is one of my favourite go-to sweatshirts. I love a good sweatshirt. Again, you can kind of tell from this comfortable vibes that we're going for um and this anine bing sweatshirt is so nice it's got cake moss on the front really lovely gray color i love this like um shade of gray it's like a gray mull i really love this i think it looks really nice it looks quite expensive as well if you have like a cheaper jumper in this kind of gray color i think it looks quite expensive um so i really like this i got this what size is this i think this is a size i think this is a size large because it was the only size that i could get when i got it yeah size large um but their hoodies actually hoodies and sweatshirts they've actually started making them a little bit more oversized in general so you don't need to size up so i would usually go for a small but i only bought this one in a large because it was the only one they had in the shop and i was like i need it so just so you know but yeah love that and then the final thing that i have to show you is something that i've been trying to get my wear out of in the last like a couple of weeks because obviously we are in the depths of winter right now but at some point we're going to go into spring and I won't be able to wear this coat. So I'm trying to make the most out of this coat. And you're probably going to guess exactly what this coat is. Because it's one of those ones that um, everyone and their mum has bought. Um, and it's this North Face Puffer. I never used to be someone who would spend a lot of money on a coat. I'd spend like probably around £80 on a coat. But never like hundreds of pounds. But when I saw this coat, I knew I needed it. I love the whole like Teddy Shearling kind of vibe. I love that it's a puffer coat because it's a bit more casual. I have quite a casual style. Um, and I just love the colours of it. I just think it's so nice. And I'm obsessed with it. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, it's one of those ones that did definitely sell out very, very quickly. I'm glad I bought it when I did. Um, this is the back. If anyone interested. Um, but I will link as something similar below if I can. Or I'll link the kind of classic black puffer of this of this coat not the one with the shilling but just the classic black one because honestly i don't think i ever realized how nice a north face puffer was until i got this it's so warm it's so cozy like i've been wearing it on my like morning walks and it's so comfortable and it keeps you so warm so i really really do recommend a north face puffer if you're thinking about buying one um or you're looking for a new coat i do recommend it it's very very warm and i think next year i'll look at buying like a plain black one because i just i can't get over how much i love that like it's just so warm so cozy so oh my god i forgot something i've just seen it in front of me god i'm really not into this whole youtube thing it's been a while since i've sat down and filmed a video um this bag this bag is one of my favorite winter pieces i got this when did i get this i got this um when did i get it a while ago a very long time ago over a year ago i've had it for ages anyway i bought this bag um and i fell in love with it like every inch of the bag i fell in love with and i still love it it is definitely a winter bag for me i only really get it out in winter which i don't mind actually it's nice to have bags that you wear like in different seasons and this bag i honestly it goes with everything every outfit this bag goes with it just has like a smart element but you can add it to a more casual outfit it's very chic i just love it 
I don't know how many times I can say I love it, but I just do. Um, I just love the fact you can hold it by the handle, you can put it on your arm, you can have it cross body, um, you can hold it like, did I say that already? Oh my god, I can't remember. Um, I love it. It holds so much. Such a good bag. If you're looking for a nice, good quality black bag, I recommend this one. This one is the size small, um, which is the so they do like a mini mini and then a smaller one and then this one and then they do a larger one i believe um so yeah i'll link this exact one below for anyone who's interested but i love it i love the gold hardware i love gold hardware on bags um i love silver hardware on bags it depends on the bag but this one just it needed the gold hardware i just think it looks so expensive um and it's not the cheapest bag i won't lie but I actually think I've got so much wear out of it that it was worth every penny that I spent on this bag. Um, and I love it. It's from Balenciaga. Did I even say that? I can't even remember. I'm just really rambling at this point. But yeah. So that is my final favourite of my winter wardrobe. My winter wardrobe favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what your favourite item was. Or if you're thinking about buying one of these things. Or if you're like, oh my god, that's the same as me. Pop it in the comments and we'll have a chat about it. Because I bet you some of you have the same things as me. I'm assuming so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. And I will speak to you all in my next one.